Hey, what's going on? Adrian here with bestformyfeet.com. Welcome to this Rock Rooster AK227 uh, slip on war boot. Uh, for this review, I invited my friend and fellow boot tester for uh, bestformyfeet.com, Jeff, uh, so we can uh, talk about the boot. He's gonna share his experience with this uh, boot because he's testing the boot, he's wearing the boot at work. So, without further uh, ado, Let's get right into it. Jeff, how you doing, brother? Welcome. Doing good, Neil. All good, man. Uh, enjoying the uh, the day here in London. Rainy, nice and rainy, <laughs> as, <laughs> as uh, almost every day. Um, before we get into the review, Jeff, uh, let's talk a little bit about your environment. Tell the new viewers... Um, by the way, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you are a regular, welcome back. Uh, but if you never watched a video with Jeff and myself reviewing boots, uh, this is going to be helpful to you because you, you know, there's always the question whether uh, these boots are good for you based on uh, the type of work you're doing and the environment uh, you're working in. So um, please uh, share with us, Jeff, what do you do? I am a water plant operator, and the environment that we're in mostly is all, I'm walking on a lot of uh, painted, polished you know, polished concrete, and uh, so a lot of hard surfaces all the time, uh, steps that are the expanded metal steps. Uh, there's times that we work outside, you know, doing maybe some yard work or whatever, that kind of thing, walking around on blacktop, uh, dealing with... Uh, it's nice to have a boot that has some chemical resistance to it because we do deal with chemicals. There's some nasty stuff, ferric chloride, you know, chlorine, fluoride is fluoride is corrosive and, and could be harmful too. So all that kind of stuff. We, it's good to have a boot that, that is, uh, has the chemical resistance properties to it too, for me. Great stuff. And, uh, of course, with being at a water plant, it's it's helpful to have waterproof uh -huh. or at least water resistant boots and uh these these are done pretty well we'll talk about that i'm sure sure good stuff so thanks for that uh let's uh uh talk about your first impression about these boots um we we looked at these boots uh, uh a little bit before we actually got the boots uh for for a review uh what was your first impression well i i think the design is very simple and i i'm a simple guy i like some simp simplicity and 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 it's effective and uh you know i just thought that it looked kind of cool plus the added bonus to me is everybody's got their opinions about these anti-scuff you know uh, they'll say oh put tough toe on or whatever if it's a boot that you have because it gets all scraped up and everything it, for me where it's at is the built-in design because i mean like there's so many times it just we've talked about this before it drives me insane <laughs> you spend 300 300 dollars on a pair of boots sometimes and then you're on the floor working on something you go to stand up and you just scuff city man it's it's horrible I, it kills me every time so with having this i mean i've had these for a few months now and i mean you know you can tell it's been rubbed on a little bit and whatever but it's Is that's normal? what it's there yeah, normal, normal stuff. Yeah. yeah, but that's that's definitely a good uh, feature. Uh, in especially like today, I actually said to someone on Reddit uh, to get a pair of boots with a uh, toe cap, sorry, with a toe cap bumper, uh, yeah. because his his boots uh, had holes at the area, at this area, you know where the toe is, um, and. I said, well, it, it makes more sense for you to get a, a boot with this feature because your boots are going to last longer. I mean, yeah. it's not for everybody. Uh, like you said, many people say, oh, put tough toe on it, but then makes the boot looks like look like crap. You yeah. know, it's it just looks ugly, uh, is my opinion. Why, why do you want to ruin a thing of beauty sometimes? I mean, yeah. boots can, can look very nice, and then you put that tough toe on it. And, you know, nothing against tough toe and what yeah. they are. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, what What's your thoughts on um, the quality of the boot? I mean, these uh, Rogue Rooster boots are one of the most uh, affordable slip-on boots out there with a steel toe cap. Uh, 
Um, sure. Do you do they look like they're cheap in, in in the sense that you know they they crappy or what do you think? No, I mean like they could certainly be a lot worse quality um, to me. I mean like it, it's apples and oranges to compare these versus you know my thorough goods that I have. Those are three hundred dollar boots. They're completely different because they're lace up and everything, and, and it's a different kind of leather. You know, th this is kind of got, uh, it, it's got like that waxy feel to it or whatever, mm -hmm. but it's a decent thickness leather. It's decent quality. And I mean, the lining and everything, the, the, the things that they have on this and the, the removable insole uh, is nice and cushiony, you know? So, I mean, from what it is, I saw these things between, in our article that, that we wrote, between the discounts and things that you can get that they have as promotional deals. And if you look on Amazon or even on their website, just recently I saw these for $85, you know, it was out the door, I think with shipping and everything. And to me, I mean, it's, it, there's no quality issues as far as on my end, as far as nothing's falling apart, no stitches coming out or anything like that at this point. And it, then again, I am, light to medium duty kind of work i mean i'm mostly just walking around in these i'm not doing a lot of hard labor with them working a shovel or anything but they are puncture resistant i believe and and uh you know they they got some decent qualities to them for what they are for sure great stuff and by the way uh, since you mentioned the price there uh you can buy these boots on amazon uh, we're gonna leave some links in the description um also if uh, you want 15 percent discount you can use uh, the code best uh at the checkout if you buy on uh rogue rooster website uh, again i leave you links to all these things in the description or in the comments below and this by the way helps us to buy more boots to test boots and to give you uh honest feedback genuine reviews so that's gonna uh, be very helpful for us so please use the links in the description uh if you want to buy these boots you you tested the uh, outsole in different environments. Yes. And yeah. uh, from what I remember, they're great on slippery surfaces. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. These um, the the surface uh, as far as this, it's the anti-slip um, surface, and it's like I I wore it in the back of a restaurant close to us. It's called Big Boy. Is the chain. And it's like a diner kind of setting. And I go in the back to grab bacteria samples for work uh, that are required to be run. And there's tile floor and it's greasy. And uh, with my throw goods, I step back there and I mean, it was like walking on ice, just slip city. I mean, I, I just went from the carpet out front to back in the back and I just, Whoa, you know, <laughs> you really got to be careful walking. And and these things are very, I mean, the, the grip on these, it's good, like a grippy feel to it. If you, you feel it, I mean, it's, it's sturdy, it's there, but it's got a little grip to it. And it definitely helped on the, that tile floor, that same floor. I mean, I walked with no problem on these things. I, I really liked it. And like another comparison is the other, um, rock roosters that I've tested these VAP 2303s I'd gotten after the, the AK 227s I, I had the opportunity to try these on a slippery floor uh, at a Wendy's by us and and uh, it was it was like the thorough goods I slept on them a little yeah. bit I mean definitely had to be careful versus the the grippiness and, and sure-footedness of these for sure right, so this makes it uh, then a good boot for people working in the food industry uh good kitchens sir. industrial cleaning uh, yeah. mechanics and stuff like that because of the grip that you can have you know on on the sole right um let's talk about the space inside the boot there's always you know with boots there's always uh problems with whether uh, the, uh, your toes fit properly, maybe it's not wide enough, whatever. Uh, how's the space inside the toe cup of this boot and inside the boot overall? For me overall, it's, it's, it's decent. I have the problem of, I, I mean, I talked about this previously, but I'd broken my toe, uh, at least one or two toes 
potentially on my right foot about 15 years ago or so. And I kind of forgot about it. <laughs> um, I, I kicked a, a 25 pound weight that was sitting on the floor and <laughs> snapped a couple toes and it didn't feel too good. So the, the end result of that was my, my left foot, the toes lay flat and then my right foot, they kind of bend up and they're a little bit gnarly. So on my, as far as the fit of the left boot, I had plenty of space. It's, it's perfectly fine. The, the right boot, it's, I mean, the design of the steel toe to, to help maintain this lower, kind of keep a lower profile, it doesn't just round and go like this. It kind of has a little dip to it. And that little dip, my toes stick up enough to where it kind of rubs to where we had um, gotten our first pair. And then uh, I thought it was a problem. So we requested and got a second pair. And here it was the, the same same deal it's it's me it's not not the boot um it's just so if you have like a hammer toe or that kind of situation with your foot and you need a larger toe box it these might not be the boot for you but yeah. i mean i once i got used to them it's instead of being a rub uh of my toe against that little lip there it it's just that it rests up against it and i've gotten comfortable enough with them I mean, I, I have no problems wearing these boots every third day like I do on my rotation between my other two boot pair of boots, but I, I, I like them. Um, the fit is decent for sure, especially on the left foot. On the right, like I said, I mean, <laughs> you know, that little bit of rub. I know when I put them on, I feel that feel that toe kind of rub, and once I stand up, it's, it's fine. I just go about my day and, and don't even think about it. By the way, I want to give a huge shout out to Rock Roosters uh, and how they uh, deal with this situation because we initially didn't know the problem was with your toe, right? Uh, so we right. said uh, to Rock Rooster guys, hey, can you send us another pair of boots because this seems to be faulty or something? Uh, and then they send a new pair of boots and they say, well, keep the other one. Um, which by the way we gave uh we gave those boots to your colleague um uh, yeah. scott yeah. yes <laughs> i hope scott, scott enjoy his too. uh enjoy <laughs> his boots yeah he's still wearing them he he wears them on his i think he he rotates between um the, the these and his red wings um on his long week uh he'll actually wear them like all week seven days i think and then the next week he'll wear his red wings to work so he's, he says he likes them. The, the only thing is that I, if you're not familiar with slip-ons uh, to try to compensate for not having laces uh, to try to provide some tightness, though, it's kind of a rough fit at first. Like he, he had some rub on his, on his shin area or, or mm -hmm. um, on the front of his leg from this. And I, I found the same thing, but after a couple of days, it kind of gets, the fabric kind of gets worn down and, and the stiffness goes away on that part. But he said the, the footbed feels great um, to him. So he, he always says, yeah, I, re I really like them. You know, so he's kind of <laughs> taking notes for me saying what he thought about them and that. So That's he's good. keeping me, keeping thanks, me posted. Thanks for the his... notes, uh, uh, Scott. <laughs> uh, are they heavy? Um, I forget what they weighed right offhand but they were over i think it was about two pounds a boot and to me that's not not horribly heavy it's like mid-weight but the th my throw goods are five pounds for the pair um so to me these these were not that heavy but then again i'm kind of a larger guy and i've been used to wearing red wings for 15 years and those have all been probably about five pound ish you know for the pair of boots so i'm just maybe it's just that i'm used to it some people like the lighter weight boot they might find this heavy to them but to me it's really not that bad i mean you slip them on and you just go get and, on yeah and, get on the job yeah yeah it's I, not I, like I feel, feel like i'm having roller skates on my feet <laughs> heavy clunking around or anything uh are they waterproof we mentioned a little bit about the um uh boots that you might need or at least it's a, it's a plus if you have waterproof boots. Um, how does that work? Are they good for that purpose? Well, 
in, in my testing of these, um, I, because I'm not adventurous and, and don't <laughs> like getting my feet wet, particularly in socks, I did the dip test in my sink in a, in a tub. And I, I put water in and put it down to however far, let it sit there for a couple minutes, no water inside or anything. But once you fill that, that up and dip it in, once it hits the elastic, it's all over. You know, it's all she wrote. It's uh, definitely, it, it goes goes right through this elastic. They do have a, a waterproof version for about the same price, but it does not have the anti-scuff. But it looks similar, and uh, the, the elastic part appears to be, to me, like a, like the, is it neoprene? Like the, it's like a waterproof, like a like a uh, dive diver suit kind of material. Right, right. So they, they do have a waterproof version, I guess. It's a very similar design and everything, but like I said, no anti scuff, and it's it's got about the same look to it. But um, if you want waterproof, these are not where it's at for you. It, gotcha. As long as you're not going above this, you seem to be fine. <laughs> They, they work from for my purposes most times if I need to get into something we do have muck boots and and the big yellow rubber boots that I can put on and get it really get into something but just for everyday use I mean walking through puddles or anything you'd have to be going through a pretty big puddle to get wet in these things is my experience how do they fit um, how do they fit do, do did you have to go up or down in size or in width or anything like that well, I wear, in, in comparison, I wear a size 12 D for Red Wing is what fits me in the boots that I've worn with them. And these these come in a wide. So these are 12 wide, and they, they fit me very well, in my opinion. I can't remember right now from the top of my head, but that is that the only version? Is that the only yes. uh, version in width that they provide? Or Yeah, everything's yeah. wide. Everything is uh, from what I remember, uh, as far as for these and and the other comparable, the variants of these, because they've got they've got not only these, they have the ones that also have the anti scuff, but are uh, I think there's yeah like the soft toe instead soft of steel toe, toe. Yes. and then there's like the that's in black, and then they've got the I mean they they also make the brown that's a different model, but it's similar, and then there's a the, what is it wheat. We yeah, yeah, like yeah, 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 or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of to it, but yeah, I mean those are those are um, steel toe too, I believe. But all all wide, from what I remember. Yeah. By so the way, if uh, uh, if you have narrow feet and you want to buy these boots, Rogue Rooster uh, says that you should go half size down, uh, and they they say that going half size down in in size. It's gonna kind of compensate and it's gonna make uh, the boot a tiny bit narrower. I'm not sure how how much narrower, but um, that's that's what they uh, advise on their page on their website. Yeah, and we did have the for, in our review we did have the uh, size guide directly from them. Yes, where it shows you can put your foot down and and measure uh, with a ruler and. They, I think they give inches and metric, but maybe, you know, use a metric ruler and figure out what, according to them, would work well for you. And my advice would be, as always, buy from somewhere uh, like Amazon that allows returns in case they don't fit right. And I think I think Rock Rooster does free returns, too, from what I remember. Um, yes. In case they don't they don't fit you right, then yes. they they'll make sure that you get the right size that you need. With all this being said, um, is there um, anybody that you think should not buy these boots? Uh, they're pretty. These are pretty well all around. I mean, like I said, uh, and and with having having the defined heel, that doesn't put the restrictions as far as construction stuff unless you aren't allowed uh, as far as construction for the slip-on, like you've mentioned. But, you know, as compared to the other slip-ons that I have, with them being the wedge, there might be limitations as far as these uh, when it comes to going up and down ladders and whatever, that kind of, depending on what kind of job it is, these do not have that, that mm -hmm. problem to where they have the defined heel and you don't have to worry about slipping on 
on ladders and that kind of stuff as much. But uh, I mean, like, as you mentioned, these would be great for food service. I'd read reviews about mechanics love wearing them and all that kind of thing. So, I mean, they're just, to me, they're an all around great boot for almost anybody and uh, definitely an affordable price point versus, you know, you look at uh, Redbacks on, on Amazon and they're $250 yeah. at, at uh, Boot Barn, they're 215 something like that. I mean, you might get lucky and catch a code and get it a little bit less, but I mean, half the price and almost the same boot. Very, very comparable, I would say. Um, yeah. As far as the quality, I've never had my hands on Redbacks to, to be able to tell you, oh, these are, you know, so much greater or whatever. But, you know, if, if that's the price point that you're at, if you're cool with a decent boot at a lower price point and saying, well, it would cost me more than double to have a slightly nicer boot potentially, these might definitely be the boot for you, you know. People who do not have the budget right now to go for higher end boots, then these are perfect. Um, if you're just starting your new job now as an apprentice for construction or anything, uh, perfect for you because you don't have to spend a lot of money. And then they're comfortable. They're comfortable and, uh, you know, they, they have uh, decent materials both for uh, comfort and safety. All righty. Uh, I hope we mentioned everything in this uh, review. If we haven't, uh, please check out the article. It's much more in depth with pictures and measurements and stuff uh, and yeah. updates as well. Um, so please check out the article again. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please show us by give uh, the thumbs up to the video It's going to help others watch it as well. Discover it. And if you want to buy the boots, please again, use the uh, links in the description. That's going to help us buy more boots and uh, do more videos like this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> With that being said, uh, Jeff, thanks a lot for uh, spending uh, uh, some time with us, sharing your thoughts and experience with these boots. Uh, I see you in the next video. No problem, bud. See you later. Thanks. Bye.